Hello friends, I am not presenting on Gaskell. I am going to be presenting on the topic of the English short title catalog. So I am um, going to do a brief overview first. We're gonna look at a PowerPoint um, and then we'll kind of explore the site. So I am going to attempt to just screen share with you. I think that will be the most effective way to do this for you. So let's see, I'm sorry, I've got a lot of tabs open and now this doesn't wanna, here we go. Okay, so we're just gonna start presenting this. Oh, that's so cool, I'm still in the corner. I didn't know I was gonna do that. Okay, so the English short title catalog. In this presentation, we are going to attempt to answer the questions of what is it, why would we use it, and how do we use it. And then we're going to put all of this into action by actually going to the catalog and seeing why, why this thing is so cool. I'm really excited about it, actually. So a brief overview. What is the English short title catalog? It boils down to it is a database. <laughs> this is a collaborative effort of the British Library, the um, American Antiquarian Society, and over 2,000 libraries all across the world. Um, it's incredible, this effort. This is the largest, most comprehensive collection of these texts. You will not find this sort of, um, this sort of this sort of treasure trove anywhere else. So what are you gonna find in this database? You're gonna find bibliographic records. Um, these are gonna be some printed texts um, from Great Britain, their overseas territories um, during their colonial rule, uh, Ireland, Scotland, the US. So it is English in terms of location, not language. It is not the English language short title catalog, um, because there is Welsh, Gaelic, Irish, there's, it doesn't just have to be English. Um, but all of these records are going to be from the years 1473 to 1800. Beyond just text, this is going to include microfilms, um, which I actually had to go look up, you should go look those up because I'm going to describe them very poorly. Newspapers, books, serials, etc. Why is this so cool? This is so cool because you don't have to go to a library. These are very, very old documents and they're all digitally archived so that we can use them, so that we can view them at our convenience. And I just think that's so cool. Another thing that's really awesome about it is that there's a lot of um, rare book collections and there's people who work in these departments that are so thrilled to be doing this work that they will help you find whatever you're looking for. It's a very straightforward website. It's a very user-friendly site, but still there are people that are so passionate about this work that are more than willing to help you find whatever you need. A brief history. So it has always been the ECST. I'm so sorry, the ES. T, C, English short title catalog. <laughs> so it used to be the 18th um, short title catalog because it was the 18th century. It was only from 1701 to 1800. That was my cat, sorry. And in 1994, it was switched to the English short title catalog. This was done because the collection expanded. It was no longer just the 18th century. This began in 1926, but things were kind of done backwards. So in 1945, Donald, Gobert, Donald Goddard Wing um, produced this bibliography that was collected works from 1641 to 1700. So now we had this gap that was filled. We were getting records of text from long before we thought possible. And um, in 1926, before that even, 
A.W. Pollard and G.R. Redgraves had a bibliography that contained texts from 1473 to 1460. So now we have thousands and thousands more texts available to archive. So that is why it went from the 18th to the English because there's just so much more than just the 18th century. So that is when it expanded to um, 1473 to 1800 as opposed to 1701 to 1800. So, um, and then this is my work cited. You'll be able to, I'm gonna insert my video into the slide so that you can go back and look at these things if you would like. But now we are going to go play with the English short title catalog, very excited. So this is gonna be when you pull it up, it's just estc.bl.uk. That's all you have to type in to get here. It's very user-friendly, it looks, I'm gonna be honest, it looks a little simplistic. So I wasn't, I don't think I gave it enough credit when I first started playing with it. Um, I think the easiest way, because I don't have all the time in the world to go over everything this database has to offer. So let's just search, let's just go straight into it. And everything you do in this site is gonna give you quick tips, which I think is so helpful. So if I look at the quick tips, it's gonna tell me I can use Boolean operators, I don't have to, I can search for a phrase. So let's just use their example, Mall Flanders. I'm gonna select the exact phrase because I wanna search exactly for Mall Flanders. So I'm gonna say Mall Flanders, exact phrase, yes. So now it's gonna show me, I have 39 records, that's crazy for Daniel Defoe's Mall Flanders. Um, and I can actually save these. Anything that I'm researching, I can save during my session. So if I select, let's see, I want to select all of these. Oh no. Oh no, I don't know why it's unavailable. Um, well, I guess I broke the ESTC. Wow, that's really sad. I'm not gonna, well, that's disappointing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let me try to fumble my way through the rest of this. What's really cool about this is that if you're researching, um, you know, for a day, you can save all of these things into a folder within the database and you can go and, you know, you can just compile stuff as you're researching it. So I think this is a very good resource, especially for some of the books some people might be choosing. You know, 1800, there are a lot of books published before then that are still taught in, you know, curriculum today. So I think it's still very applicable. I am so sorry that the website broke. That is so inconvenient and lame. Um, hopefully tomorrow <laughs> you can go play with it on your own. That makes me so sad. Okay. I don't know what to do with that. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And I am so sorry. <laughs>